Well, welcome to this episode of Addicted Fishing. We're right in my backyard off the Space Coast. We got Captain Jamie Glasner again with us, and uh, hopefully we're gonna be showing you a few redfish today. It, uh, it is the season for them to be here. Mid-November. Yep, mid-November, October. Giant bait pods out here. Big redfish swimming all around them. You gotta love the Space Coast on a winter day like this, when it's nice and calm. 81 degree water temp. <laughs> Not for long, though. No. Tomorrow it's supposed to change. Let's, let's go to. Oh, there we go. There we fish go. on, baby. You get yourself a goldfish? I think I got a goldfish, brother. <laughs> it's, I think it's a big goldfish, too. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to have this other rod ready in case there's others with them. This kind of reminds me of the Pamlico Soundfish. Never fish there. It's a neat place. Got these big bruiser redfish just like this. But here, we're right off my home turf, and your home turf ain't gotta go oh, yeah. 500 miles to go catch 45 pound redfish. Five minutes down the road. <sighs> Seems like a good one. I think it's a pretty good one. Now, this isn't the same school it gets out here in like February, March, is it? I can't really answer that question. <laughs> Nobody's been doing any tagging? Uh, no, nah, I, I think they stopped tagging all that stuff. I think when they used to do the uh, hatchery, when they would release them at Ramp Road. Yeah. They've been averaging anywhere from 20 to 40 pounds. Ooh. 20 to 40? Yeah. This one feels like a grown one, I can tell you that. Hope Canaveral Redfish. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that's maybe a 30 pounder. You know, I got people that ask me, don't you ever get sick of catching redfish? I'll ask them, don't you ever get sick of breathing or eating dinner? Dude, that's no. a stud. That is a stud and a half. Oh, you beat me to him. Just let him get good and tired first before we try to bring one in green. <laughs> Dude, that's a stud. Tailing <laughs> 20 feet of water. <laughs> oh my God. Here, can I have the honors of grabbing this one? Yeah, go for it. Come here, dude. Help, help the guy who's half broken. Since, you, since you've been busy all day guiding. Yeah. Dude, look at the head on that. That is a big fish there. <clears throat> Probably under seat. Circle hook. And a monster redfish from Port Canaveral there, brother. Big Ooh. broom tail. Nice. Yeah, he'll do about 35. I didn't get any that big this morning. He They're all 20 thick. to maybe 30 pounds. Right off the Space Coast, baby. You gotta love it. Big old head. Big old head. Big old goldfish. Somebody flushed him down the wrong toilet. Feels like all that lactic acid's out of him. Send him on home. All right, back down to the deep you go, baby. Well, welcome back, folks. Let me show you how we're rigging up these pogies and basically what our simple little redfish rig is here. Eight aught trocar circle hook, and I'm taking and hooking right in the nose of this pogie, just like that. And we're rigging a slide sinker is what you're calling it? I just call it locks, and then you can actually pull it down like that, and it'll sit there, you slide it right there, and it sits right there. But just a simple, simple little rig here. Using 40 pound test Seaguar fluorocarbon, 30 pound test Smackdown by Seaguar, 4,000 size reel and my eight foot rods. Basically the same rig I used up in Pamlico Sound for these big redfish. And uh, definitely getting the job done, gotta love it. It's working excellent. Working excellent. Come on. There we go. Sorry, Jamie. Well, hooked up again. <laughs> Man, I can't get a damn bite. Am I under you or over you? Uh, I can't tell. There we go. We're free. Oh, oh Spanish. Spanish mackerel. Crazy. Jeez. Uh, anyway, what we were saying is the pogey migration is going on right now. And the, if you can see this big black spot right out here in front of us, that's all pogies. And there is just absolutely millions of them out here. An amazing bait to use for reds for anything, everything eats a pogey. I don't understand why they keep buying your bait. You're the one casting them off every time. Well, I keep a fresh one on. <laughs> What's with all these moon jellies, man? I ain't seen all these moon jellies like this. Oh no, this is nothing. It's usually like the ball jellies that are in here. Three to four days ago, it was, you couldn't catch your pogies in your cast net without having 50 pounds of it in your net. Really? Yeah, it was, it was bad. I think this is better than the last one. Is it? Oh my God. Dude, where did these fish come from? I've been fishing them all day and they all were 20, maybe to 30 pounds. Oh, just 20 to 30 pounders? Oh yeah, just 20 to 30 pounders, but. 
<laughs> That's a moose. That's another mid 30s, I'd say. That would be uh, classified as a mogan. He's tailing. Tailing. Man. Tailing in the ocean. Have you had any sharks eat them yet? Um, not personally. I've caught some fish that look like they've been hit by a couple sharks. Like half the tail be gone. This guy's about ready again. Yep. He's with that arm. How'd you break your arm? I, uh. Slip, I slip and fall? <laughs> I fainted. Look at that circle hook, brother, right where it's supposed to yep. be. Right in the corner. Right in the corner, roll that sucker out. Nice trocar circle hook on that big old redfish, baby. That's <laughs> yeah. nice. Yeah, he's bigger than the last one. Definitely bigger than the last one. Big old broom tail. I'm gonna show you guys something, y'all. And I can do it with a big fish like this. A lot of people think I, I put my hands in their gills. And if you see back where I'm holding this fish, I'm on the back plate of his, of his gill plate here. You don't want to ever stick your finger in there. That's where they breathe. That's where they get their oxygen from. And that is how you hold a monster redfish. Get back in. Big boy. Big old goldfish, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. See ya. Bluefish. Oh, in uh -oh. your arms. Did you get one? Oh, finally. Broke me. Here, you're gonna come around the front. Uh, did he go back under? Okay, he's not under. Just wanted to stay underneath the boat, though. Staying in the shadow. That's hurt my arm. Oh, you want me to take him from me? No. <laughs> well, mine broke his line. I'm gonna have to re rig when you get this guy up. This is so awkward. Yeah. He's a drag screamer, all right. A oh, hard fighting goldfish. Yeah. There we go. Tina finally ate. It's Tina. So are these guys in here spawning? Have any do their uh, See, be, jump, you jump know, on you? I have not had any done their thing on the boat. You know, I haven't had any What we mean by them doing their thing, a lot of times when you catch a big redfish and you hold them up for a picture, they'll drop the milk or drop the eggs out of their, uh, out of their little compartment and uh, put it all over your deck. Yeah, I mean. You got a grown one there, Jamie. Yeah, it's a good one. He doesn't want to come up on the pretty side of the boat so he can get his picture taken. No, he doesn't at all. Turn him? She's starting to. Or he. It's just awkward because I can't grip my hand all the way around the rod. <laughs> it's like he's fishing with a handicap. Open palm. There we go. Oh. Ooh. Well, there you got your 48 incher. This is catfish. It's a kitty cat. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's a grown one. It's a pretty one. Dude, these are way bigger fish than this morning. New school moved in, or the bigger ones started feeding. <sighs> The, the little ones all must have got full. See that circle hook right in the corner where it's supposed to be. That fish could literally have swallowed that bait all the way down to his stomach. And being it's a circle hook, it pulls out of their stomach and the angle or the direction when you reel them will get them in the, get them in the corner of the mouth every time. Oh man, that one almost put me in the water. You got quite a few spots. Some half spots. Yeah. He's been trying to mate with them sea trout. <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful fish. Or she. Or she. It's hard to tell when they're male or female when they're not uh, doing their thing on the boat. Well, he's about ready. There he goes. Tailing. Taylor. Rig It Right by Wright and Miguel. On today's Rig It Right, I'm going to show you what Captain Jamie and I were out there using. We were using Trocar Circle Hooks by Eagle Claw, and these are ADOTs. Definitely getting the job done. Let me show you how we were rigging the pogies, too. Basically, what you want to do with a pogey is that they have a real hard piece of cartilage right here in front of their eyeballs. So what you want to do is take your circle hook and hook it right in that cartilage, just like that. Very simple way to hook them up. Throw it out underneath the bait pod, let it sink down, and uh, catch you a redfish. Using the eight foot flats blue inshore rod, even though we're offshore, catching those redfish. Using a 4,000 size Sabalos reel. 30 pound test Seaguar Smackdown, some of the most awesome braid I've ever used in my life. 40 pound, and this is the pink label. 
Seaguar fluorocarbon. If y'all ever try this stuff, it definitely does the job. I always say if you're using fluorocarbon and it brings you that one more bite or one more fish in the day, definitely doing the job and getting the job done. Simple, simple redfish rig, and all we're doing is finding the bait pods, dropping them down underneath the bait pods, letting them sit there. You're seeing how it's happening. They pick it up and then the fight's on. So if y'all ever get a chance to come down here to Port Canaveral, get to see one of these big cruise ships behind us, come fish with Jamie Glasner or the guides he has working for him. They will definitely do everything they can to put you on the fish. Remember one thing though, every fishing season starts at Dick's. Rig it right by Wright and Miguel. Dude, this is amazing. As far as you can see from the tip of the cape all the way to the Port Canaveral is nothing but mud, birds, and pogies. Oh, yeah. Hell, it goes all the way down towards Patrick. Is there pogies up north of the cape? I saw one pot up there last week. I haven't even gone past the tip, so I really... I wish the redfish would come up. <laughs> it's crazy. They're here. They're just sitting on the bottom. I mean, you can see out there, out in the deeper, there's a giant mud out there with all the birds diving where the boats are at. Hey, dude, hold on to that second. Yeah, yeah. I'm double fisting. <laughs> Don't say that too loud. Oh, hey, we're hooked up. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, many times. There we go. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, you little stinker, you. Oh, I think he just realized he was hooked. The double fisting, it worked. <laughs> you like that? It's a little, the double fister, it worked. It's a little redfish dance. This could be a good one. I feel like a good head shake there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm going to throw off to your left. Oh, I got a cramp. Oh. Yep, there he is. He's a gold nice fish. One. Big old goldfish. <laughs> and you were worried these eight footers weren't going to be enough for these fish. I don't know, I think the redfish are on the same clock I am. It's about time for a beer 30. Time for an adult beverage? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, you gotta love it when they splash. I had a kid the other day and he goes, I wanna catch one. Oh, ready for oh, a double? Oh, there's your double. <laughs> yes, sir. <sighs> and they said they weren't over on this bait pod. Who said that? That wasn't Mr. Tanner, was it? That was Mr. Travis. Mr. Travis Tanner over there said there's no redfish over, over on, on the chum danger. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Man, these things. Oh, okay, that was a quick release on him. <laughs> Don't worry, I still got mine. I got the best of him. I didn't get to hold that one. But I'll hold yours. You seen him yet? Nope. They like the double fisting though. You say get up here quick and we'll have this redfish show done in a matter of two hours. Oh, dude, you see this guy? He's this like- It's just a wee little redfish. You might even just be able to lift him in. <laughs> oh yeah, let me let me high stick it in. Yeah, high stick it in with that, that rod. Ow. He's got other fishing line in him, I think. Does he? I think he broke off of someone. I don't know. I don't know why he's so mad. <laughs> the toughest fighting fish of the day and the smallest one. <laughs> that guy. There we go. Circle hook <sighs> has done its job today with the Port Canaveral redfish. He is short, but fat. Look at the tail. He's missing a quarter of his tail on the bottom down there. Yep. Short, fat little dude right there. I bet that's a male. Probably. You think? Nice fish. Oh. Well, sir, we're going to sit. Oh, there you go. He's ready. He's already ready. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, man. Well, sir. Yeah. You said come and we'll get a quick redfish show done. <laughs> it don't get much quicker than that. I think we've been out here about a half a day, not even a half a day. Not, not even. Maybe Unbelievable. Y'all ever get a chance to come fish with Captain Jamie Glasner yeah. or his partner in his business? What's the name of your website? Uh, finandflycharters.com. Finandflycharters.com, don't forget it. Don't forget about the website either, addictivefishing.com. Check us out on, oh God, Twitter. We got the YouTube channel. We got 107, 517 videos up on our YouTube channel. If you'll get a chance, go there, check it out. Hashtag show your mugging. I don't know what else to say. I'm wore out. <laughs> don't wear you out. That's a good day of fishing when you can get done yeah. in about four hours and get wore out. We'll see y'all next week.
Oh, you snagged a pogey. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to AddictedFishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. Oh, I think you just got hit. I'm a little hungry. Oh, God. Good pogies, I'm telling you. Oh, oh there he is, baby! Ooh, nice, right on the outside. Crazy dude in the duck butt with a blue rod. <laughs> <laughs>